<laughs> Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more back to thinking. Time for thinking ahead. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There's so much hatred, war, and poverty. Oh, wake up, everybody. Hey, time to teach a new way. And maybe then they'll listen to what you have to say. Because they're the one who's coming up. The world is in their head. And when you teach the children, do the very best you can. The world won't get no better if we just let it be. Na, 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 na. World won't get no better. We gotta change it, yeah. Just you and me. Y'all remember that song? I love it. Uh, wake up all the builders. It's time to build a new land. I know we can do it if we all lend a hand. The only thing we have to do is put it in our mind. Surely things will work out. They do it every time. Oh, Lord. The world won't get no better if we just let it be. Na, 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 na. World won't get no better. We gotta change it, yeah. Just you and me. Thank you. Thank you, Harold Melvin and the Blue Oats. And thank you. Thank you. Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff for writing one of the most profound songs that speaks to the heart. That speaks to the freaking heart. The truth is, the truth is, we really got to wake up. We got to wake up. And it just may be too late. Okay? Because we've been banging on this beast for a while. Okay? And um, in my opinion, it's two types. It's the folks that's from the loins of John Brown. And it's the folks from the loins of, um, you know, General Lee somebody. Or uh, what's, uh, what's one of the staunch races? Um, Thomas Jefferson or George Washington. Either you come off their loins, which is oppression, or you come off the loins of John Brown. And one of the people I consider uh, coming off the loins of John Brown. So, well, let me start like this, family. Hey, I want to say good morning, good afternoon to you. I just wanted to get into this so bad that I, I, I don't want to disrespect you by not acknowledging that you're listening. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being in this damn mental house, the place without freaking walls where everything is crazy, crazy. Crazy. Listen. What's his name? Herman Dixon? No, not Herman Dixon. Dixon um, White. One of my favorite YouTube creators. Because um, he gets it. Um, he gets it. And a lot of white folk hate him and send him, of course, a lot of, you know, hate mail, whatnot. Y'all good at that. Y'all so good at that because you want to keep supremacy alive. And this is what angers me about a lot of, uh, especially people who are, and I'm not saying that we're monolithic. I'm saying that a lot of black people don't like to acknowledge 
that narcissism is white supremacy. This whole, uh, you can't separate the two. You can't. You cannot separate racism from narcissism. They go together because white supremacy is just a master gaslight. That's all it is. It's a master gaslight um, that you can't do anything about it. Because if we had any kind of power, any kind of power, y'all think we'd be sitting up here listening to y'all lies when we know the truth? We know we built this country. We know everything that we know about it. Do you actually think we'd be sitting up here listening to y'all shit? Or we be trying to find a way to kick you out and send you back to the caves? Because if you're not from the spirit of John Brown, then you from the spirit of the racist. I get it. And y'all are the ones that are destroying America. It's very simple. When you hear... I mean, and then you got all kinds of people of color uh, disrespecting us. Uh, people that uh, think that uh, we're playing victim when all we've been over here is a victim. A victim of white supremacy, a victim of murder, thievery, uh, race riots, uh, all of it. And then they got the nerve to say we playing victim. What do you think the mental repercussions is for people that have been treated so bad. Oh, well, you guys are violent and you got, yeah, and what? And so are you. Actually, you the master violent because the violent person, because if it was just being over here, just me, my very existence over here is a crime. I represent a crime. I'm a person that was oppressed by the Neanderthal and made to work against my will beaten uh, listen I don't even want to go into the atrocity but what I want to do is go into the gaslight aspect of it and I want everybody under the sound of my voice to understand what gaslight means your mama do it your brothers do it your community do it but this country is governed by people who are master liars, master of technology, masters of the gaslight. And my man, Dixon White, can't nobody explain it. Like, I love Dixon. Shout out to you today, Dixon. Um, and uh, keep up the, the work. We, 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 we converse a little bit about our health challenges, and um, I just want uh, to send love that way. But besides that, I want y'all to check out, uh, and I check, I uh, implore you, I encourage you to uh, check out Dixon White and his content, because he is a real one. In my opinion, he's a real one. Professional liars when it comes to race. It's part of white supremacy and how it functions and how it works. From the very first African that was enslaved, we have been gaslighting black folks as white people. That's our culture, that's our tradition, that's our indoctrination, and that's what we do, and that's what we do best. We lie every single day, and we lie to black people, we lie to each other, we lie to ourselves about race. We gaslight, gaslight. Gaslight. Gaslight, if you don't know, it's a psychological term. It's where the abuser tells the victim that this reality of you being abused is not really happening. It's just something in your imagination. You're being paranoid. You're being too sensitive. All this abuse is not real. And if it is real, it's only because you deserved it. I was trying to help you. It's justified somehow. We have always justified our racism. And if we're not justifying it, we're denying it. If we're denying it, they were deflecting it. The last thing white people would do is simply acknowledge the truth racially. That's why I say we're bullshit artists. We are professional fucking liars and gaslighters. That's exactly what we do as white people, and that's the fucking truth. If you deny it, 
You're a fucking liar. 90% of white people today, right now in America, no matter how young or how old, we've been so profoundly indoctrinated that we cannot simply acknowledge the truth racially. Can't do it. And if we do do it, there's a but or deflection. Can't do it. 90% of us will not do it. So this is why. How does Shopify enable your business to scale? Shopify has enabled my business to scale in We are gaslighting academically. This is why black history all around America right now is being criminalized. That tradition of gaslighting, that tradition of hiding, that tradition of pretending racism is not real is their educational system. And they want to protect that tradition. They do not want the truth to be out. People know that the hope is with the younger generation. Isn't that what they always say? I hope the younger people, I hope the next generation will do better. They know that if the truth ever gets taught racially, that's why CRT is banned. That's why if you talk about race, it's banned. All around America, states, counties, schools, teachers, threat of arrest, black stories, beautiful black books, banned, erased, censored, libraries, empty, criminalization of black history, folks. Because why? Because white people are racist. White people are all about denying. White people are all about gaslighting. That's our tradition. Deny, deflect, never teach the truth, never acknowledge the truth. Because if we do, if the young, if, if we teach the truth, what will happen? White supremacy could be threatened. Economic advantages for white people, the dominant position could be threatened. They're threatened, like all bullies are threatened. They're threatened by their victims. So of course they don't want the truth to be taught. So what do they do? They keep it whitewashed. They keep the lies perpetrated. The narratives, the whitewashing. Pretend George Washington, Andrew Jackson were heroes as they owned hundreds of slaves. Keep pretending, keep denying, keep whitewashing. Let's not learn about black heroes. Let's not learn about black stories. Let's not learn about black history. Let's not learn about black contributions. Why? Because that would be the truth. And that's not our tradition. We're supposed to promote whiteness. That's how white nationalism works. They pretend that, you know, we're innocent. We're trying to protect the sensitivity of our white children. No, you're not. You're trying to keep white supremacy and your privilege alive. You want to be on top the same way that your parents wanted to be on top and their parents wanted to be on top. That's how white supremacy works. It's a power thing. The idea of dismantling white supremacy cannot happen until we can teach our children the truth. Folks, I I hate to say it, but white folks are largely professional gaslighters. Uh Uh-huh. There you have it. That's Dixon White. There you have it. He done told you the truth. What we all knew all the time. But a lot of us don't want to admit it. We want to hide behind. Oh, yeah, some, uh, uh, this is, you know, uh, well, this, uh, uh, it's not about race. It's, it's really about narcissism. It's not, yeah. Yeah. Racism is narcissism. Yes, it is. And the worst part about it is so intertwined and ingrained that a lot of people don't know the difference. So my thing is, whenever you talking to a white person, in my opinion, and in my 62 years being on this earth, here's how I, what I figured out so far. Either you belong to the group that fall off of John Brown's loins, who should make you proud, who should make you uh, know that your motives are noble 
They are forthright and they are coming and they are blessed by God. Or either you belong. It's, it's no lukewarm. I, I want to get that out the way. You either belong on that side or you belong on the destructive side. You belong on the side where uh, 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 it's not really uh, uh, white people gaslighting us. Uh, uh, um, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, we're not gaslighting you. Oh, yes. I know that most of you, all of, when you walk into this building, all the teachers are white. Oh, oh, no, but it has nothing to do with racism. I know that we have to have 70% of the jobs or whatnot. Oh, but it has nothing to do with. And we fall for it. Or we allow it. Oh, 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 there's no racism. Even though your son and mine got caught for the same thing. Uh, matter of fact, one of my sons leaves cocaine in the White House. Uh, somebody done done it. But you think my son would ever go to jail? Or do, and do you think yours would? You think if that was Sasha or uh, Malia... And they even found some cocaine in it. Man. And so what happens is the media is just the arm of white supremacy. So you want to want to know why you can't get a fair shake through the media? You never will. That's why we have to have black and independent uh, news tellers. Because you will never, ever, ever get a fair shake with the national news outlets because they are the arms, the scribes and the Pharisees of white supremacy and white nationalism. Okay? You're only going to get anything remotely connected to justice when you find it from an independent person or a white person like Amy Goodman or somebody like that wants, that seeks the truth that has a heart, that know what their ancestors done, and they're ashamed of what their ancestors done, and they know nothing can be fixed until they rectify that. <laughs> I'm going to say this, and I'm going to go. I keep, what comes to my mind is that such a profound, such a, let me see if I can find it, such a profound situation when Jane Elliott questions her audience about if they're aware of um, you know racism it, are they are they aware of it or you know hey I just want to know maybe you're not aware of it um, and if you are, are you being complicit? Because I need to know. And, and the way she says it is so elegant. Let, let, let me shut up. Let me, let me just play it. Let me just play it. Let me just play it. I love it. Shout out to Sister, um, by the way, Jane Elliott. Still putting in that work. Not saying I agree with everything that Sister Elliott says, but I appreciate her heart. I appreciate her spirit. Um, and I don't want to find no fault. If you go looking for it, you'll find it. I feel, uh, Blessed to have met Tim Weiss when he came to UWM. I feel blessed to have met some of the people that represent from another mother the reality of a situation that they know their people are responsible for. Jane Elliott, Robin D'Angelo. Jacqueline Battalore, I appreciate all y'all work. And I want you to know that. 
I want to give you your flowers and let you know that I appreciate what you do. Check this out, though, because it's real important. It's real important that we understand this that little dynamic. Right? Not very long, but just check it out. I want every white person in this room who would be happy to be treated as this society in general treats our citizens, our black citizens. If you, as a white person, would be happy to receive the same treatment that our black citizens do in this society, please stand. You didn't understand the direction. If you white folks want to be treated the way blacks are in this society, stand. Nobody's standing here. That says very plainly that you know what's happening. You know you don't want it for you. I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Did she say it? Did she say it? I rest my case. All right. If you like what you hear, please like, please subscribe, please share my channel, donate to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment. Please, please, please let me know what you think about Sister Jane Elliott or um, Dixon White. I, I, I'm curious. And I want to know if, if the majority of us can see past somebody's color and hear their voice. Let me know where you fit in. Is gaslighting racism? Is racism gaslighting? Let me know. See you in the next video.